Do you know how to time the stock market? Most investors know buying and holding stocks is much more important than constantly buying and selling. But how exactly does this patience pay off over the long term? And when does trying to time the market hurt portfolios the most? Hi, my name is Chris Kovalchuk and I'm a portfolio manager at Claret Asset Management. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about why time, not timing, is what matters. A UBC Sauter study titled The Volatility of Investor Returns found active trading actually increases the volatility of a portfolio. In other words, investors who try to time the market are not only getting lower returns, they're also assuming more risk as well. Market timing is the strategy of trying to predict short-term fluctuations in financial markets and buying and selling assets based on anticipated price movements. The study looked at data from major stock exchanges focusing on dollar-weighted returns that considered both stock performance and investment timing. When comparing dollar-weighted returns to buy and hold returns, the study found a 50% higher volatility over 20 years and 71% higher volatility over 30 years in dollar-weighted returns as well as lower returns. This higher volatility affects not just frequent traders but any longer-term investor, especially if larger amounts are being invested during more volatile periods, as it leads to more frequent trading by investors. The study advises investors to limit trading, as it not only incurs costs, but also adds to portfolio volatility. We know market timing doesn't work. So what drives investors to buy and sell instead of staying invested? It boils down to a set of three main behavioral biases. The first is loss aversion. This is our inherent bias where the distress of losses overshadows the pleasure of gains. When markets dip, a knee-jerk reaction for many is to liquidate holdings to stave off further erosion, even when history shows that the market tends to recover eventually. Another bias that drives investors to time the market is the herding instinct. Humans instinctively tend to move with the crowd. During tumultuous market phases, the prevailing trend can exert a powerful pull making one sway with the majority, even when it might be counterproductive. And finally, there's the anchoring bias. This refers to giving too much prominence to an initial viewpoint. For investors, this often translates to being fixated on historical market levels, causing decisions that might not align with current market realities. Behavioral biases can derail even the best investment strategies, prompting investors to make decisions that aren't in their long-term interest. A classic blunder is buying at market highs and offloading at lows. JP Morgan's analysis of market data since 2003 reveals significant missed opportunities for investors trying to time the market. If an investor missed the S&P 500's 10 best days each decade, their total return would be 5.6%. In contrast, holding through the market's volatility would yield a return of 9.8%. The study indicates that the market's best days often come after its biggest drops. Predicting short-term market movements is challenging. That's why a steady investment approach is best. Market pullbacks are a normal part of investing, but staying invested in a well-diversified portfolio and maintaining discipline through periods of market volatility can lead to more favorable outcomes. By understanding the benefits of time in reducing volatility, investors can position themselves for success in achieving their long-term financial goals. Thanks for watching. For more investment tips, visit our website at claret.ca or get in touch with us directly by clicking on the links in the description. And don't forget to click the subscribe button below.